What's up, everybody? Today we're going to check out the free download we have right now. Uh, it's Synths to Abyss from Karani Sounds. Um, I think we have covered this a little bit in the past, and there are some really cool videos from uh, the manufacturer, from the developer, that will go through like the presets and the multis and stuff like that. So what I wanted to do is kind of give you a taste of how you can use it. Um, there's a lot of dark soundscapes, but of course it focuses a lot on on the bass sounds the low end so you're probably going to need some good headphones for this one so there's a lot of sub bass and this is kind of like a synth wave type demo and then later on i do you know some more aggressive wobble type basses so let's check it out For the second part, it gets a little bit more aggressive. I added some, um, you know, distortion and compression on these two, and you'll notice there's a lot of stuff going on in the frequency. So uh, when I turn on the bandpass filter, it'll get a nice kind of wobble type sound. So let's check that out. Uh, just showing you can do a little bit more than just, you know, kind of old school sounds with it. So, um, yeah, there's a, it's a very, very simple instrument. Um, so we look at the interface here, and there's just, you know, a few controls, attack, release. There are two different effects that you can apply to each preset, and they're pre-selected based on uh, what that preset would best respond to as far as effects. So you just have effects one and effects two. Uh, you can turn them on and off or both at the same time. And then the same with the scoring EQ down here. It shows you the shape right there. And it just, you know, slightly alters the sound. And each one also has a different effect or parameter mapped to this big knob here. Obviously, this one says space. So you'll get something uh, like this. You know, from very dry and kind of, and then you'll get a lot, like huge space to it. Some of them have space mapped to that. Others have, you know, different parameters. It all depends on which preset uh, you have because there's a few different categories here. If you look, um, there, there's a lot of multis too, as well. I use a couple of those, so they're gonna have, you know, multi stacks. Um, and then, of course, we have, you know, different categories. It says glitch library, granular library, scape library, and then untouched analog, which is just, you know, straight up analog waveforms. So we get that nice thick character of an analog synth, which is pretty cool. So you can also do, you know, some slight leads with it here, as, as I tried to do. Obviously, it's not made for that, of course, but if you really want to hear, you know, how good the bass is, again, you're going to need headphones or a sub to hear it, but uh, this is really nice, some low end here. So there's, there's, it's a pretty nice instrument. It's very basic, but 
you know, it's free right now. And it's definitely very good for those kind of old school dark soundscapes. But again, I wanted to demonstrate here how you can, you know, add some distortion or just use the glitch library and turn up that mangle effect. And you can get something, you know, nice and modern with it as well. It doesn't have to be dark and ambient. It can be pretty aggressive as well. <laughs> So there you have it. It's a totally free instrument right now. Great for that uh, dark soundscapes, the synth wave, and again, some more modern aggressive stuff if you want to get creative with your effects chain and have a little fun with it. But you get some really nice thick sounds and some really, you know, pure analog sounds to mess with as well. So it's a great choice. Oh, and it's even greater because it's totally free right now. Uh, and it's a great company. Definitely check it out. So thanks for checking this one out with me. I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Thank you.